What's going on there, folks? Good evening, Earthmaster here on the live stream on this uh, wonderful Friday, September 10th evening, 2021's the date, about 9.45 p.m. California time. Latest quake on the globe. It's going to be a 2.8 earthquake out here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, better known as Hawaii. 2.8 striking in that area for the latest quake on the globe. Let's go ahead and check out some further activity around the USGS map here. There's that 2.8 out here in the Hawaiian area. We need to bring down these uh, magnitudes so we can see a little bit more what's going on here along the Hawaii area. Things appear to be, at least for right now, calming down around the Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea area, and also Kilauea Volcano, which sits right around here. Just a couple, uh, this is kind of a smaller group of earthquakes as well compared to what we normally see in the southeast flank region. So, uh, looks like it was pretty quiet over the last 24 hours. Not completely quiet, folks, but compared to past days uh, in, in, in months and whatnot, this is kind of minimal activity, but, but, now, last hour we're seeing kind of an increase in earthquake activity with these three red circles indicating that earthquake activity uh, right around volcano hawaii and uh, areas um, within this region here uh moving up here to the north actually just back up a little bit here and show you guys the bigger overall picture you can see a lot of movement taking place up here on the northern pacific plates northern part of the uh, pacific plate here and also down here to the south areas to the uh, southeast and along the South America region, somewhat quiet, but up here, looking at a little increase in movement here, folks. Uh, Vanuatu region, Vanuatu, man, it just still wants to come out like that that way. Uh, 5.0 and 5.2 is the uh, activity around the Solomon's Island area. 60 kilometers for the uh, Papua New Guinea earthquake up here, which was a 5.0. Uh, Fiji remains very quiet right now following all that deep earthquake activity yesterday and the day before. Uh, Philippines near Manila, uh, a little bit of earthquake activity south there into the Indonesia region, a 4.1, and also up here around Taiwan, 4.7. Here's some of the activity occurring along the um, trench region, Japan trench northward up here to the bend. A little bit of subduction zone quakes there with the 4.2. Uh, off the coast of Japan at 53 kilometers into the subduction zone. Also some further movement here. Uh, right at the surface, seeing a little back-to-back -back quakeage uh, within this area. Uh, upper four is kicking off and also up here off the coast of uh, Russia into this subduction zone here, a little bit further northern end of it. 4.3 at 73 kilometers. Uh, what else we got going on here, folks? Let's check out the region near uh, Bangkok and the uh, What do we got? 5.2 near India. It looks like bamboo flat Got Port Blair down here a little bit of uh, Shaking going on out here 10 kilometers below surface for that earthquake and also uh, Just outside of the Himalaya mountain ranges up here kind of looks like it might be right in them uh, 4.7 into the uh, uh, wait a minute, where's that at there? Yeah, 4.7 into the India area. And also up here near Afghanistan. Uh, Afghanistan. <laughs> Good Lord. It's just been a long day. It's a long day. Hey, but we did pick up some rain last night here in California. Here where I live, we got two tenths of an inch of rain. That's more rain we've seen um, since about January of this year. We just don't get, we're supposed to get rain in January, February, March, and April even. Summertime is our dry months, but man, we got uh, two tenths of an inch of rain, and I'm, I'm just happy as can be, even though the ground's completely dry now after that. But it's all good. Uh, a little bit of further movement down here along the South Sandwich Islands area. Only a 5.5, just one quake over the last 24 hours in that region. South America area, a little bit of movement along the uh, Peru Chile Trench, 4.8 into uh, the Peru Chile tr uh, subduction zone here. Puerto Rico getting in on a little bit of activity, not uh, anything significant. Uh, looks like Pecos, Texas, so ramping up on their earthquakes. Something definitely popping up, brewing up here. It has been for quite some time. Uh, Guadalupe Peak sits over here, but also a lot of fracking area operations. And uh, there is some fault systems out here. Got the rest, uh, what is that, the Wrestler Hills. 
and the uh, Virginia draw area, horseshoe draw, a lot of creeks and whatnot out here in this region. Quite a few twos kicking off over the last 24 hours. Oklahoma relatively quiet, just a little quake around the Quinton area. 1.5 and also a little bit of further movement into the New Madrid area near, uh, what is that, Cat Catron? Hopefully, uh, Missouri, 4.7 or uh, 4.7 kilometers below surface for that 1.6. East Coast looking pretty quiet in the earthquake department. The West Coast did see a little, little bit of earthquake activity ramping up. Drop this back down to the 2.5 and above. Can see some of the, uh, can't say larger magnitudes, but they're uh, above the 2.5 threshold up in Idaho specifically, right at the southern or northern end of the Sawtooth Fault area. Seeing quite a bit of movement here. Uh, some three 3.0 earthquakes. 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. Look at that. A lot of threes there in that sequence of uh, earthquake numbers. Also along the coast range of Northern California, 2.5 near Geysers. Of course, when you drop all the magnitudes, you can see all the uh, earthquake activity in a typical day in this region looking uh, pretty average. You're kind of getting in on some uh, microquakes as well. Uh, let's see what else we got. Pacific Northwest relatively quiet. We are seeing a little bit of movement. Uh, 0.7. Pretty deep quake here. Uh, pretty close to the Seattle fault system. West of Seattle there. Um, 18 kilometers for that little earthquake. Uh, let's check into California. The Cascadia still showing some signs of movement here off the coast of Northern California. Uh, into the Cascadia mega thrust zone. 2.4. Uh, off the coast of Northern Cal, like I said, near Petrolia, or west-northwest of Petrolia, and also 2.2 um, within that same vicinity. Both these earthquakes relatively deep at about uh, 20 to 25 kilometers uh, down into the subduction zone. Uh, let's see what else we got here. This is pretty quiet, folks. Looking uh, pretty quiet around the Antelope Valley area. Yes, there's a handful of quakes, but uh, not too significant uh, tonight anyway. Ridgecrest as well, a little bit of movement into the microquake range and also down into the uh, well south Sierra Nevada mountains down towards the uh, Tehachapi area, a couple small microquakes stretching out uh, south of Lake Isabella and uh, Bakersfield sits down here at the southern end of this valley. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Sandra's Fault looking pretty quiet folks, a little earthquake out here near Rancho Santa uh, Margarita? Ooh, Margarita sounds good. Uh, 1.5 up there in the mountains and some further movement up here. Uh, what do we got? 2.4 in this area. Just a typical day down in Southern Cal. We are watching a little bit of movement uh, around the northern end of the Brawley Seismic Zone, area that sometimes gets some swarms. This area of activity is kind of north of the region where we've seen uh, uh, this year's swarms. When I went out, when I went down south there to check out the earthquake activity, it was more down in this region. But uh, just a handful of quakes, nothing significant yet. No, no swarm going on. Just uh, a few, a few microquakes currently. Uh, let's check out the Yellowstone seismographs. Not a whole lot going on there either, folks. Um, these, if you look at over here towards the uh, northwest corner of the park of Yellowstone National Park, much closer to Idaho, right? These are those threes that kicked off. I showed you there on the uh, USGS map. Uh, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, I believe. That's how they had it set, set up. These are all um, Idaho earthquakes showing up on the Yellowstone stations. Although um, here is a localized earthquake, another one right here, and a couple other smaller localized earthquakes in the vicinity of Maple Creek. But uh, the larger quakes that you see on the map are the uh, three 3.0 earthquakes there in Idaho. Lots of threes, no doubt. Uh, let's see. So other than that, pretty quiet, folks. I'm um, looking uh, like some absence of data around the Lake Yellowstone area. That's real nice, huh? Uh, what else we got in the Pacific Northwest? Let's see what's rolling up here into the Cascadia. Nothing much. We're still seeing some movement here. And this could explain the activity once again. We're seeing uh, off the coast of Petrolia some of that deeper movement. Uh, some trimmer taking place. This looks kind of way way down there uh, Probably at the deeper end 35 40 kilometers down where it uh, um, Really starts to slip and uh, I think some of the activity uh, building back up a little bit uh, Towards the subduction zone off the coast of Northern California. So 
Other than that, uh, we're looking pretty quiet, but still kind of watching this region down here, uh, especially with that 4.3 that kicked off, uh, I believe it was yesterday or the day before off there on off the coast of uh, Northern California. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Um, let's check out the sun. The sun's looking pretty active. Look at all those sunspots. Now that is pretty impressive, I must say. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right now, six sunspots. These are still Earth facing. 2868, 2866, 2869. Dynamically, this one looks pretty active here. This one as well. I believe there's a pretty good chance of uh, um, some flares kicking off. Uh, looks like they're slowly crackling uh, with some C class flares at the moment. Uh, 2866 and uh, 2868, right there, those two that I showed you. There's an awesome image there of the sun uh, with a zoom camera, it looks like. Pretty uh, significant zoom on that camera to be able to pick up people uh, in the trees, but also bring the sun in from the background and make it look huge. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. As uh, far as solar weather activity goes, looks like at least a 75% chance of C flare. Uh, M flare stands at about 20% chance. X flare has been raised from a 1% up to a 5%. So that's kind of a big deal uh, when we see an upgrade to the X-Flare. Like I said, those sunspots are pretty uh, uh, dynamic looking. They're pretty awesome looking. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, potential there for um, producing a uh, possibility of a solar flare uh, and a re relatively strong one as well. Uh, let's see, I think that's it in the earthquake department. Um, not a whole lot going on. We'll go ahead and do a couple images of the uh, viewer sent in um, photos. And I do appreciate everyone that was that, uh, sending them in. This one here from Pam Acosta, St. Uh, Simon's Island. Pretty awesome view of the beach there. Some beautiful colors with the clouds there. Um, wow, a lot of low clouds in there as well off, the, uh, off of the coast. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Pam, thanks for sending those in. I have been getting quite a few images kicking up, folks. There's no doubt uh, a lot of people sending images in. So I'm trying to get to them all. I definitely am, and I definitely will. Emerald Bay, California, Casey Shower. Casey Shower, thank you so much for the, uh, the uh, pronunciation hint. I do appreciate that. Beautiful view. Emerald Bay. Um, from up on the uh, uh, little elevation level. I think, he, uh, I think he said it was on a bike trail up there, if I remember correctly. Um, so I appreciate that, uh, Casey, for that uh, image there of Emerald Bay region very much. And also, uh, what do we got here? What happened to that image here? It looks a little bit uh, smaller than I wanted it to be. Oh, that's right. So... Trisha sent me an image of a, uh, well, it's obviously a volcano there in the background. Um, and it's, well, technically, well, yeah, I guess it could be one of my favorite uh, in, favorite uh, mountains to uh, pronounce. Mount Rainier. For the longest time, I've said Rainier, but I'm pretty certain that it's uh, Rainier. A lot of people say different stuff differently, but I appreciate that, Trisha, for sending that in. Beautiful shot there. From the air. Uh, what else we got? I think we got one more from uh, San Diego, California, region Phil Swain. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Phil, thanks for sending in that beautiful, awesome color image. Uh, some HD imaging there. Pretty awesome of the waves and a lot of cool looking uh, clouds in the background as well. There, San Diego, no doubt beautiful down there in the southern part of the state. So, I appreciate it, guys, for uh, sending in everything. Um, I will get to more a little bit uh, later tomorrow. And, of course, if you do want to send uh, in some images to be featured featured here on the update show, on the Earthquake Update Show, uh, send them in to earthmastermail at gmail.com. That's my email, earthmastermail at gmail.com. And we'll try to get those on as quick as we can. Just kind of getting uh, backlogged a little bit. But uh, keep sending those images in. Uh, date, location. Uh, make sure you took that photograph and um, maybe a brief description of what we're looking at. Uh, and yeah, I'm definitely, hopefully everyone's enjoying all these images. It's really cool to see uh, people sending in these images from all over the place. 
and uh, getting them out here on the update video for everyone else to see. It's pretty cool. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for uh, sending those images in. All right, guys. Have a good night. Kind of tired. I'm going to go to sleep, I think. Friday night, right? Who goes to bed at 10 p.m. on Friday night? That would be me. Have a good night, guys. Stay safe out there. We will chat to you guys another time. Peace out.